What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another draw preview and this is actually the last draw preview of 2020. It's the ATB Finals and this is probably I think the most even final series we've ever had. Anybody can win it. We know that over the last couple of years. Anybody can win this. Of course, defending champion Stefano Tsitsipas, who beat Dominic Team in the final last year. The groups are set. We've got the London group. We've got the Tokyo group. Let's go to the groups and have a look at who got put in what group. Okay, so the Tokyo group, which is the Djokovic group, he has to play Daniel Medvedev, number four in the world. Number six seed. Alexander Zverev and Diego Schwartzman, the number eight seed. Tough group for Djokovic, but lucky for him, he does have a good record against most of those guys. Now, Rafa Nadal, he is in the London group. He has got to play against Dominic Team, number three in the world US Open champion. Stefano Tsitsipas, the defending champ, number five seed. And then Andre Rublev, the number seven seed, who's probably... Well, he's won more matches than anybody going into London. He's won more titles than anybody going into London. So he's probably the most informed player going around uh, in 2020. So tough groups for both guys. But like I said, anybody can win this. Let's start with the London group, which is the Rafa Nadal group. Let's start with the best player of 2020 so far, Andre Rublev. So number seven seed coming in. He's the number eight ranked player. Of course, Roger Federer is not playing. That's why he got bumped up a little bit. Now, never played this tournament before, so best result, nothing to speak of there. Now, like I said, he's got Nadal, team, and City Pass to contend with, and he's got a decent record considering it's his first time playing. So he's never beaten Nadal. They've played once. He lost that match. Team, number three in the world. He has beaten twice, but he's also lost twice. Two and two, but the, he won their last meeting in Vienna. Remember that a couple of weeks ago. We watched that, and uh, team was injured, but it was entertaining that first set. And then Sidzi Pass, who he's played a couple of times this year, he's got a two and two record against Sidzi Pass, the number five uh, seed. So Rublev has a chance. He has a chance to get some matches, and we know he's been, like I said, one of the best players of 2020. He's won five titles. He's won more matches than anybody going into this tournament. And he's got some wins over those big guys, especially Team and Tsitsipas. And that's recently he's got those wins. Let's go now to Stefano Tsitsipas, defending champion, the number five seed coming in. Best result here was last year when he won the whole thing. He lost one match last year. Now, his record, this is his second time being in this tournament, by the way. He won the first time he played. How crazy is that? His record is four wins, one loss. The one loss was against Nadal, who he's going to have to play in this tournament. So, first up, he's got to play against Nadal, the number two uh, seed, obviously number two ranked as well. One win, five losses against Rafa, and the one win actually was on clay, which is kind of a bit crazy. Like I said, they played here last year, and Rafa got the win. Team, he has a three and four record against Team, so he's won three, lost four against Dominic Team. That could be an interesting matchup if they play. Of course, they played here in the final last year, and since he passed one, Rublev. Number seven seed in this one. He's got a two and two record against, but he does have a recent win. I think he won at the French Open against Rublev. So under a bit of an injury cloud as well, Steph. So we've got to keep an eye on him uh, physically to see how he does because he did lose early in Paris and he said that there was a leg injury going on. So we'll keep an eye on his fitness, but he is the defending champion and has a pretty decent record against a couple of guys, Rafa being the exception. Let's go now to... Dominic Team, the US Open champion, number three seed, number three in the world. His best result here was the final last year. He's He's been here, this is his fifth time being here. His results, six, uh, six wins, eight losses. So not great at this tournament. A lot of those wins coming last year when he made the final. He had a great, great tournament last year. He beat Djokovic and Federer uh, to get to the final. So he played very well to play, uh, to, to get to that point last year and had a chance to win it all. Rafa. He's got a 5-9 and nine record against Rafa. A lot of those on clay court. If they play on a hard court, maybe team has an advantage. We'll keep an eye on that match. That'll be interesting. City Pass, he's got a winning record against 4-3. and three, And against Rublev, it's 2-2. Two and two. So again, anything could happen in this group. Team could get through. He could win the whole group. The Rafa match will be crucial because you think he probably well, he should beat the lower-ranked guys. But again, those guys are in form. So who knows? 
But he has to beat Rafa, I think, to get through. Let's go now to the man himself, Rafa Nadal, who's never won this tournament. He's made the final twice back in 2013, 2010, but he's never won this event, the elusive ATB finals, and he never, he's never won. He can never get the win here. There is his best result. 20, uh, 2013 was the last time he made the final, of course, 2010 as well. This is the 10th time he's playing this event. 10th time and never won it, which is rare because Rafa wins everything. 18 wins, 14 losses. Not a great win-loss record there uh, considering how many times he's played. He's only made a couple of finals. And he's got a tough group, but a, a winnable group, Rafa fans. He's got a winnable group. He's got to play Dominic Team, who he has a 9-5 and five record against. But like I said, a lot of those are on clay. So we'll keep an eye on that one. Sitsi Pass, he's got a 5-1 and one record against, including the win here last year at this event. So... He has that confidence there. And of course, Rublev, he's only played the one time and he won that match. That match will be interesting because we don't know how is Rublev going to play it. Rublev 2020, you're going to play against Rafa Nadal. We don't know yet because we haven't seen Rublev be tested by the big two guys since being, you know, being a part of this new top 10 group. It's the first time he's been in the top 10. So we'll keep an eye on him there. But that is the, uh, the London group. The London group, it's called, uh, in probably because of we're in London and it's a part of the the whole tradition of the A to B finals. So Rafa Nadal, he's got a tough group, but a manageable group. Like I said, anybody could win that. That's probably the hardest group out of the two. Either group, uh, either anyone in that group could get through. If you get Rublev get through, no surprise. City Pass wins, no surprise. Team gets through, doesn't matter because it's obvious he's a US Open champion now. And of course, Rafa Nadal, the highest ranked player. Let me know down in the comments below who's getting out of this group. Remember the two top, uh, the two top win loss re uh, records get through to the semifinals. The other two go on vacation. So let me know in the comments below who's getting through in this one. Does Rafa have a chance? Let me know. Like the video if you haven't already. Don't forget to subscribe as well, and I will see you guys in the next one.